Good Thursday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska statewide weather. Low pressure continues to spin across the Gulf of Alaska, and the steady onshore flow is producing not only gales offshore, but persistent rain across many of the coastal areas. That will continue for the next 24 hours. Gale warnings through tonight from Prince William Sound all the way into the offshore zones and into southeastern Alaska, including many of the inner waterways. Across St. Lawrence Island from Doll Point to Wales, gale warnings are in effect through Friday afternoon. And for the western Aleutians from Kiska to Attu, gale warnings expected on Friday. With gales also from Cape Halkett to Flaxman Island and Demarcation Point, Further north, heavy freezing spray warnings are in effect from tonight through Friday afternoon. The weather pattern as such is under the effects of a large area of low pressure in the upper atmosphere. That is keeping surface weather pretty unstable with northerly flow coming down the west coast of Alaska. That means much colder weather for areas north of the Arctic Circle and that is encouraging rain and snow to form across the coastal plain. Light snow and fog is expected across parts of the Arctic coastline as we head through tonight. Light rain continues across parts of the western Seward Peninsula, but it'll be the wind that will affect you more than anything else. Look for areas of poor visibility and probably poor flying conditions to continue across southwest, south central, and even southeastern Alaska as we get into Friday. Looking out into the central and southern Gulf, a 999 millibar low is working itself northward. That too has another surge of moisture that'll make its way toward Haida Gwaii by Friday afternoon. Southerlies continue across southeast and south central Alaska. Some breaks in the clouds out around Kodiak Island, but you'll likely see a few passing showers at least. Onshore flow from the north continues for the Alaska Peninsula with high pressure just south of Adak and Atka at 1,021 millibars. That return flow from the south on the western side of that ridge will encourage the next storm to move into the western sections of the Aleutians. That's at 981 millibars by Saturday, approaching Shemya from the west and southwest. A weak wave of low pressure will sit across the Alaska Peninsula and just west of Cook Inlet. That trough will encourage more rain, more drizzle, and more clouds heading through Saturday, making it an extensive nearly two-week period of wet weather for many. A trough of low pressure sits just south of the Brooks Range. That will keep an east and northeasterly flow crossing the Brooks Range while it's drier on the south side. The wetter onshore flow for the Arctic coast means a better chance for light rain and possibly snow. With Alaska statewide weather, I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder.